I started playing piano by ear. Um, my parents, they bought a piano for my sister. As soon as I put in the house, I fell in love with the instrument. And I just want to start playing all day long, all night long. My mom had to, had to get a key and lock the piano because I don't want to do anything else. I started working as a professional musician in the group Los Papa Kung Kung. I was with this band for around three years. It was great because I, I learned very much how to play with, with drums, with congas, and, and playing rumba, playing montunos. And so I, that's where I started playing montunos and tumbaos. But after the 1970, uh, Chucho Valdez, a, a great piano player and composer, a Grammy winner, he called me to sub him in the Orquesta Cubana de Musica Moderna. For him to call me to, to sub him was a, really a big thing. For me, Chucho was like a, like a godfather. And he called me and said, so Hilario, you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna get my place in the orchestra. I said, oh my God, this is something great. So, he, he, he trusts me on that. We're doing a recording here in Havana, coming back to my roots and work with my great friends and musicians. So for me, it's like, like a blessing to do this, this project. The studio again, we used to do a recording every week, you know? First as a piano player, and after uh, as a musical director and arranger, and I did tons of records. I don't, I don't know how many records I did there. Like I, I produce and play. I can get like a 500 or 600 records. I almost had to, <laughs> to bring a bed to the studio. They didn't pay much for that, but we didn't care. Most of the people that used to work with me in the past, like mostly Jorge Reyes, the bass player, we come a way, way long back. Well, we were in the high school together in the conservatory. And after we passed the military together, I had to all of my music life together with, with this guy. So this is like, like my brother. My brother in blood, <laughs> almost, you know? And Chicoy, we used to work with. And travel all over the world, too. That's, that's the thing. Because you have, have been in all, almost all my records in Canada. I'm really comfortable playing with him, and he is a great guy. In September, we just finished touring together with the WDR Orchestra in Cologne, Germany. But the other guy was uh, Papiosco. I seen Papiosco, the conga player, a, a great musician, a great a conga virtuoso player. So the other person is Changuito. Changuito is a legend, the, the timbale player. Very lucky and very happy to have him in the record. The other guy was Pancho Amad, the tres player. Also a legend. He made like a, a school of the tres guitar. So who better than him to be in the record? I'm very, very extremely happy. He came out like a, he came out better, even better than I saw. For me to come here to play my music and do an album and, and interact and share music with my friends is like a blessing. Something really great. Cobra quien cobra, cobra quien cobra, cobra quien cobra, cobra quien cobra. Gracias, gracias.